Yo, what's up, random people? So today, today we are going to talk about Ravager Boomer. Yes, yes. Uh, and you might ask yourself, why? Why are we going to talk about Ravager Boomer? And I don't have a good explanation. I don't have a good uh, answer to that. But we are going to talk about it. So um, the only reason to up uh, Ravager Boomer is uh, there isn't one. But uh, you do need him, well, he's a very easily farm character in Blitz uh, credits, in Blitz store. So, uh, and you do need him for Star Lord. So I might as well mention that, because that's the only reason to get him to 7 stars. You don't need to get him to any level or any uh, gear tier, just the stars for uh, Star Lord. So uh, besides, oh, and Didix got Crystal, what a bitch. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, he's pink, he looks awesome, uh, he has only one eye, and that eye is cybernetic, uh, as it seemed, but, um, he is kind of cool, he's kind of cool, uh, he doesn't do much, but he just looks cool, and he's pink. So, uh, his first attack, his basic, just does damage, basically, that's all it does, and goes like, um, 40 plus every level you do him, if you decide to put tier 4 on him, then I, you should go and see a psychiatrist, but um, it still brings you 40 damage. Um, then let's go with special. Special basically does AoE damage. In a normal fight, it will hit uh, 3 people. If you have more clamped up together, uh, if you like put him with uh, Magneto for some unknown reason, then he can hit uh, all five people. I would not recommend that, but hey, it is possible. So uh, yeah, if you up his uh, special, it just does more damage. Especially if you put uh, T4, it just gives you a tiny little bit more damage, and it's absolutely ridiculous upgrade that no one should do. Uh, and his uh, passive gives you a chance for an assist from a Ravager and 10% assist if you tier 4 him, which I do not recommend, then he will have a 10% chance to assist a non-Ravager ally. Now, you're probably going to see him most often in uh, the early stages of the game. If you're a new player, you probably encountered him quite a lot. Uh, if you have uh, been playing for a while, like myself, then you probably even see, haven't seen him in ages. But he's here, and um, he's still kind of cool looking. I really like him. Um, wish that he would do more, or that he would give him like a purpose. Uh, his skills, when he attacks, his AoE looks kind of cool. He does like a like an orb thing uh, that looks like a you know black hole sort of a a damage attack, uh, kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. Now, uh, while we were here, let's talk about Ravager Stitcher. Now, there is no reason to up him. There's no reason to farm her, uh, farm him, besides getting his uh, free shards from random orbs or whatever. Uh, as you can see, he's still level one. And uh, even though I have four red stars on him. I'm not upping him until there's like a use for him. Now I do like the fact that he is blue and has like spikes on his head that kind of make him look like a sort of like a dinosaur of some sort. But he's really cool. He's he has he has two cybernetic eyes and he looks like a mad scientist um, medic. And I really like his design as well. Uh, now his basic does damage and a chance for bleed, and if you put T4s on him, which I do not recommend, then he will always apply bleed, uh, if that's a thing. Uh, he'll apply bleed, but he doesn't really do much damage, so that bleed is not going to do that much damage, I guess. Yikes. Uh, his special is his healing ability, um, heal most injured ally for barely any health. Uh, because he doesn't really have health, and um, the numbers here are just ridiculous. Um, if, if, even if you up him to like uh, tier four uh, ability, then it's really still really nothing. Like tier four ability for 1,000 HP, that's really nothing. 
really nothing. So really not worth it. And his um, special, or not special, his passive, it just gains more HP. So even with this tier 4, still, it's really, he doesn't really have that much HP. And he's really not worth upping at all. Uh, but he is the healer of the Ravagers. So uh, the last Ravager is a Ravager Bruiser, which is um, uh, the tank, basically, of that faction. Uh, now, he is still not worth upping. I probably upped him when I was really a uh, beginner in the game. So he's like level 33, uh, tier 4. Not going to up his uh, stars, but uh, I did up him to uh, tier 4. So uh, good for him. Good for him. And he's basic. He has a uh, attack and a chance to taunt. As uh, that protector of the team, he needs to have an ability to taunt. Otherwise, he doesn't really do much. Uh, unlike Yo Yo, who uh, does not taunt, but uh, just um, give everyone uh, offense down every turn, which is still really good. Um, but even if you tier for him, still he's not going to do a taunt every turn, but he will have a chance. To do so, 70% um, chance if you up him to level 6, his ability, still not great, but not the worst. Uh, now, well, actually he might be the worst, <laughs> and now his, uh, his special is the gain defense up for 2 turns, if you up him a few more levels, then he will get uh, defense up for 3 turns, and he will heal himself a little bit, just a little bit, just a tip, just a tip. Um, still not worth upping him, he's really not a good character, even though defense up is awesome, he just does defense up for himself, so still not very good at all. Um, even if it's like for three turns, and then he then he taunts for like the rest of the match, he's still not a very strong, maybe, you know what, even if he was like a seven red stars, tier 14, um, maybe he will be useful, maybe, and that's even, like, maybe, uh, very, very maybe. Now, his stats are not great, he's, um, not too slow, well, 111 speed, not too slow, not too fast, kind of in the middle, kind of an eh, basically. Um, let's see, Boomer, how fast is Boomer? I don't think he's very fast. Um, 108, so not fast at all. And the Stitcher, let's see how fast he is, 110. So, faster than Boomer, uh, a little bit slower than, uh, you know, Bruiser. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the, basically the, um, the minions of the Ravager uh, faction. Obviously, there's Yandu, but uh, we'll not talk about Yandu. We'll not talk about Yandu. So, uh, let's see, how long has this video been going on? That's a, that's a very good question. We um, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Okay, okay. So, um, while we're here, let's see if we can uh, do a blitz with them and see um, how badly they lose. So uh, I'm already at tier 6, uh, let's see if there's uh, anything good, Magneto, uh, Captain Marvel, no thank you. Um, right, 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 well we're gonna lose to any of these teams to be honest, so let's go with um, Captain America, yeah okay, uh, okay, okay, let's, let's try this one, let's try this one. I know they're low level, level 1, only Riverger, uh Bruiser is actually uh, have some levels on him but let's give it a try you know what don't 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 knock them until we uh try them and while we add it let me just light this up real quick while we're waiting for the loading screen and we're still waiting for the loading screen yeah you know what every patch uh, this happens i don't really play on blue stacks. I only uh, use blue stacks to make these videos, so everything needs to be patched, which is good. Good. Take your time, patch things through, and uh, you know maybe next year we'll be able to make this uh, blitz fight uh, work. <laughs> and are we done with the, with the patching? 
forward. Yes, I think we are done. Let's hope this. No, we're not done. We're not done. There's a little bit more. <laughs> A little bit more patching, and uh, let's see if we can be starting this. Oh no, 18 megabytes. Oh, this is going to take a while to be done. So, uh, I don't know if you guys up your uh, Ravager faction uh, minions, if you up Stitcher, if you up Boomer or uh, Ravager, Bruiser. Uh, if you did, I'm sorry for your loss of resources. <laughs> Because uh, they're really not worth um, the resources. I up one of them to get um, what's his name, uh, Star Lord, but not even not not even worth the while spending um, the Blitz credits uh, nowadays. That we need the Blitz credits for Alliance War. So um, if I had to do it all again, I'm not sure that I would have upped uh, Ravager Boomer. The way I did, probably I would, because he's the cheapest one to get to uh, tier well to seven yellow stars for that event. So probably I would have, probably I would have. Um, maybe not upping Yondu though. Maybe I wouldn't have upped Yondu. Yondu was really really good back back then. Um, all right, stop stop talking about Yondu and let's talk about our match here. I'm going to leave it at um, the 1 at first. So first we're going to go and get our defense up. Because uh, that's important for him. He needs his defense up. And he does this Hail Mary thing. Alright, so let's do this. Uh, now Ravager Boomer. We're going to use his AoE. And it's a really cool looking AoE to be honest. So let's do that. And he just like Ploosh. A little tiny black hole thing. And, um, alright. Alright, so. Oh, we do have some Hydra minions because we need something. Oh, oh, I think. Wait, wait. I think Ravager Stitcher is gone. <laughs> alright, let's, um, apply Death Proof to the lowest enemy, which is himself. Um, <laughs> and some heal. Now we have Hulk is taunting, and we have Captain America giving defense up. Uh, let's do this. Let's attack him. Or, should, no, let's attack Hulk. Boom. And he's gone. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and we are taunting as well. He looks like he's, like, cursing at people while he does it. Um, but let's keep going. Uh, we're going to attack with the basic... Captain America, and uh, do one damage. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, what's his basic? Um, apply heal block, and it's blocked. Let's see. Okay, so now we... Should we do this? No, we have one more turn for this. So let's do the basic on... Iron Man or Shield Medic? You know what? We're going to attack Wolverine instead. Get him out of the fucking way. Uh, let's attack Medic now. See if we can do something to her. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, I want to get her off the field because she has a chance to revive. And I don't want uh, revive on this match. Now, I don't have my defense up yet. So let's do this again and get two more turns and some heals. Now I have Ravager Boomer um, special, so let's use his special here, and boom, that did nothing. Um, Alright, and I have my Hydra minion, it's almost gone, let's try and kill Medic, and we did. Now Captain America is taunting again with his defense up, let's hope we can get some taunt as well. And we did not. We did not. All right. So Ravager Boomer does nothing again, and uh, Iron Man is just gonna splash damage all over the place. Oof, we just got hit in the face with Cap uh, Shield. Uh, let's do this and get our defense up again. Let's try and attack Iron Man and see if we can do some damage. We did not do some damage. Um, oh. And Ravager Boomer just bite the dust. 
Let's see if we can kill um, Iron Man with my with my basic and get taunt. Even though taunt doesn't matter if you're the only person on the field, right? So it doesn't really matter if I have taunt or not. I just need to have defense up. Um, let's do another defense up and heal. And uh, now it's going to be the Battle of Titans. Uh, Captain America versus Ravager Stitcher. Now the thing is, the difference here is that, um, that Cap does not have any kind of heal. So, oh shit, bitch. Alright, so he did get my uh, defense up off with his shield, but I have a heal factor that he does not. Um, so even though we're almost matching in um, power, basically, he's level 31, uh, 3 yellow star, 2 red star, and uh, power is uh, 2,921, and mine is level 33. Um, three yellow star, two red star, and power is 2,978. Um, I have the heal factor. He does not have the heal factor. So I think um, there's big chance that I'm going to win this fight uh, because uh, I can just out-heal him, I think. Because I don't think he can out-damage me. Uh, let's get the defense up because that's important and the heal a little bit. And let's attack him again. And he's almost... Done. He's almost done. Uh, as you can see, the animation. All right. So he's almost done. Let's do uh, another defense up. Yeah, another defense up. More heals. Uh, even though it's a little bit of heal, you know, better than nothing. Now uh, we're gonna attack him, and I think we are gonna finish the match. Yes, I think we're gonna finish the match with um, his basic attack. Uh, Five percent block chance. Okay. So let's hit him, and boom, he blocked it, but we won nonetheless. So, uh, Ra Ravager Stitcher, Ravager, sorry, Ravager Boomer, uh, for the win, and we got that, um, yeah, okay. So this has been uh, Ravager, uh, Boomer, Stitcher, and uh, Bruiser doing their thing. Let's see how long has this video been going. Uh, up. So we've been recording for 17 minutes, talking and rambling on about uh, Ravager, uh, Boomer, Stitcher, and uh, Bruiser, and I think I think most people uh, already left the video a long time ago, if they even watched it to begin with. But uh, let's hope I have like maybe only like five people still watching. So uh, all right, it's time. After 17 minutes of me rambling on about nonsense that doesn't matter, let's talk about actual shit. Um, now, I did the whole thing in the beginning just because uh, I didn't want a lot of people knowing about this. Maybe people already know about this, but they kind of don't really think about it in the certain way that, I, uh, that I'm thinking about it. But let's talk about um, raid point manipulation. And raid points abuse. Now, all right. So in the raids, you have. Uh, let's go here. You have the points, and then um, you get your rank based on points that you do. Now, you get points on basis of um, how much damage you do in a node. Now, I know and I think most of you know that you can go into a node and you can do 1 million damage and finish it, and you can go into a node and do 2 million to finish it. Now, I want to show you an example, okay? Now, here, this node, uh, who's in control? Now, this node I usually do at work every day when I don't have the time to sit and, uh, you know, bury my face in my cell phone for 5 minutes and play. So what I just do, I just, you know, put it on autoplay, put it on the side, keep on working and doing that good work I do. And then, uh, you know, once the five minutes is over, I click uh, again and autoplay and again until uh, it's finished. Now, usually it takes me uh, on autoplay between uh, two and uh, three tries. And 
it gets in this node. Yeah, in this node, it's uh, around seven million damage. Now today it's uh, Friday, and uh, fortunately, I am not working. So uh, I had the time. I sat. I even uh, used the uh, one heal on Phoenix because I said, you know what, fuck it. Let's try it with Phoenix, and I did it in one try, obviously with Phoenix, and I did only 4.7 million damage. Now, if I did the same thing that I do every day on Auto Play, I would have had used more energy and gotten more points. Now, sure, if you don't have a choice, like I do. Put it out of play and uh, shit happens. It depends on RNG and you get what you get. The important thing is to finish the note But if you want to look at the dark side of things um, you can do things on purpose and uh, If I it, let's say today if I wanted to uh, manipulate the points instead of using Phoenix I could have used like full um Full sustain, no damage team. And this could have been taking me, let's say, even four tries or even five tries, but I could have gotten like 15 even uh, million damage just on one node. Uh, obviously, it doesn't work on any nodes. Obviously, it works only on nodes with a healer. So, um, anything with, um, yeah, anything with a healer basically. If it's Minerva, if it's um, any kind of healer that you have, let's see, let's see. Miss um, Marvel works well. Uh, let's see what else you have here that can heal. Uh, yeah, Miss Marvel can heal. Here you have uh, Doctor Strange can heal and even revive. So that's crazy. Um, here you have, uh, you know, si well, actually, what's her name? Um, Night Nurse can heal quite a lot. Um, so basically, uh, you have, um, what's her name? Yeah, um, I forgot uh, her name. But uh, the green Mantis, Mantis, right, 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 Mantis. So here, Mantis can heal basically any, any um, node that you can, wait, 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 what? Why are they only on one side? What happened to the other side? Didix, you asshole. Why didn't you do the other side? Just so you can do the, the mini boss? Don't be a dick. All right. So yeah, any uh, node that you can do with a uh, healer, uh, even Iron Fist uh, is a healer. So any node with a healer, you can manipulate the points and get more points. Uh, without actually completing the node or you know you can complete the node but as you can see here you can complete the node and do 4.7 million or you can complete the node uh, actually he didn't do today's uh, who's in control didix you didn't do that shit bro what the fuck um, but let's see if other teams did it so I did uh, see 4.7 million Let's see if Team 2 did uh, worse or best. So let's see, he's at, he's not even finished yet, and he is at 3.8, so probably, probably he will uh, do more damage on that node than I have. Let's see, uh, here, right, Grand, he did, right, so here he did the same, who's in control, same node, he did 6.6 uh, .6 million, um, because it took him, I guess, uh, longer to kill. Um, to kill uh, the the note because uh, what's her name uh, healed healed and healed and healed so he did more damage so he got more points basically so um, I'm sure he didn't do it on uh, intentionally on purpose uh, shit just happened that way because uh, it really depends on kill order and who are you attacking with I don't even know I don't even think or even know that if he used even uh, Phoenix on that node like I did today that I usually don't, and usually uh, I get like around 7 million damage with that auto play and um, Ultron's Angels. So, yeah, so yeah, it's a thing. You can manipulate points and get, as you can see, uh, Grand is uh, rank 2, and I am rank 7, and we are basically at the same 
uh, place in uh, in the node. He, yeah, he finished in that node, and I finished the node, and uh, he's way, way above me. Let's see, uh, Dario, he did uh, 5.7, so still 1 million above me. And here, let's see, Shade, he did 6.3 million. So none of them did uh, the point manipulation um, menacingly or, you know, on, on purpose to get more points, I'm sure. But it's a thing that you can do if you wanted to, um, you know, manipulate the points and get more points for that node so you can get a higher rank in the uh, alliance ranking. Now, I don't think a lot of people are aware, well, probably most people are aware of this, but none of them actually give two shits about it to actually manipulate uh, the points by, you know, changing the kill order or, you know, not killing the characters so uh, the healers can heal um, before, you know, so it's like you have like a bunch of healers, right? So you hit one character until she's very low and then you switch to a different character and, uh, you know, you hit her until the healers heal that character that you did damage to. And now you go back and forth back and forth. Uh, it does cost you a bunch of energy uh, to do. Uh, as you can see, we're almost at 60% and I'm like at 42 uh, energy, so I have no problem with energy whatsoever uh, in uh, Ultima 7 getting to uh, 60%. Um, so it is a thing if you guys want to use it. Uh, it's possible. It's not even that far-fetched. I'm not sure if people are using it in uh, other alliances, but uh, but it's, 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 it's a thing. It's a thing, and if you want to get rank 1 or rank 2 or whatever rank you want to get, it is possible with manipulating the points. Um, would I recommend it just for the sake of getting the rank 1, rank 2? I, I don't think it's worth you know, spending all that time on this, because it does mean sitting and doing things manually, uh, because, uh, as I said, I can get around 7 million uh, if I do out of play, but if I want to get more than that, uh, or, if, you know, someday I get, like, very bad RNG, um, then, it, you know, it means, you know, watching the screen and actually actively playing and actively attacking and not, not attacking... Uh, certain characters so uh, they can be healed and you know it's it's, it's, it's it's a lot of work it's just it's just work but if you want to do it you can the difference uh, between rank uh, you know one two and uh, three six even seven twelve it's not that high of a difference to be honest well maybe one two to um, if you're like at rank 13 to 24 and you're like, you know, fuck this shit, and you want to get to rank 1 and 2, it's possible uh, you get more of these, uh, quite a few more of these. Um, but uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, I usually get between rank uh, 1 and 6, uh, sometimes even 7. Right now I am rank 7. Uh, I don't think I'm going to attack more. I'm not sure I get like this, like 4 hours to go, so I don't want to be capped. On 50% on 50 energy, so I might do one more attack, uh, but it's really kind of waste of uh, energy. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if I if I see that I'm capped, then uh, I'll use some energy. If I'm not capped 50, then um, I'm, I'm chill with rank seven. Um, still a pretty good rank. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, point manipulation. You can do this basically. I think in any. Um, any raid mode as long as you have a node with uh, healers and obviously you need to have lots of healers yourself because the point is not just to you know do a lot of damage and not get and not them and not kill the characters the point is doing a lot of damage not killing the characters and not dying yourself so you do need a full-on uh, sustained team for this and you do need basically a uh, node or a few nodes with uh, healers um, to do that. So so that I just I just wanted to show you guys because today I did have time to play and I didn't put it on autoplay so I finished it uh, and I used uh, Phoenix as well. 
which I usually I don't use things for this. Uh, and I got very, very low uh, damage on it, so low points um, for this node uh, than usual. And uh, yeah, I I don't know if um, they're going to change it. I don't think they will change this. I think it's very uh, hush hush. I don't. I haven't heard anyone talking about this yet, um, or showing us how it, to do it. Um, I, you know what? Maybe one day, maybe tomorrow is Saturday. Maybe I'll try and like get as many points as possible on this node, just so uh, you guys can see the difference between, uh, you know, uh, you know, playing it for real and actually uh, trying to manipulate the points. But I don't know. I don't know if I'll have the time for that, and I don't know if I can go through another 18 minutes of uh, yapping about something that isn't important at all, like Ravagers and Boomers and shit, uh, just to make that point, to be honest. Uh, I really don't think I will. But it is what it is, and uh, that's an aspect of the game that you can abuse, basically, and uh, be the top of your alliance ranks without actually putting in the work or getting anyone ahead because I want to make this very clear if you min if you manipulate the points you get yourself on the top of the charts but on the alliance scale it doesn't help you because uh, even though you can do tons of damage and get tons of points in one node um, when you complete the node it gives the alliance the same amount of um, percentage of completion. So if I do 4 million or 10 million for the Alliance completion for the percentage, it will do the same. So it doesn't really help the Alliance, it just helps yourself if you do it. Um, and sure, helping yourself is not a bad thing, obviously, um, but uh, you still need to make sure that your Alliance is still getting the rewards. So like right now we're almost almost at 60%. Um, I think we're lacking a little bit on team three, as you can see. Uh, my team one got 60%. Uh, team two is at 61, and team three is kind of kind of lagging behind. But hey, we got like four hours to go. Uh, if really it's a problem, then I can do another node. It's not like a it's not like a problem. Uh, we we've been getting to 60%. So. I don't even remember um, when we last reached only uh, 30%. So, uh, yeah, hope uh, no one saw this uh, thing. Hope no one saw the, you know, how you can manipulate the points. And I hope no one is watching this video, basically. <laughs> basically, uh, I hope no one is watching this video. And I hope uh, most people will stop watching when I started talking about uh, Ravage Boomers and shit. Anyway, I'll see you next time.